Hello everyone, and yep, we're fitting in some more Warhammer Underworlds this week, and today the Thrice Fold Discord are going up against Skabix Plague Pack. I don't remember if these two have gone up against each other. Either way, they're who is going to be on the table today, so we'll take a look at both sides, and we'll just get things underway. Quick as that. And here is the Thrice Fold Discord, the three Slaanesian demons who really, really don't like each other at all, to the point that their Inspire condition is... Uh, one of them misses entirely on an attack, a spell attack action, or a defense roll, I think. Does it include defense rolls? I always forget that part. Attack roll, defense roll, or casting roll. Yep. So, they want to see each other do badly. They're, they're being forced to work together and not doing a particularly good job at it. Being led, sort of, by Vexmore, the largest one in the center. He's got five wounds, so he is worth two glory if he goes down. Vashtis the Coiled is their resident caster, level two wizard. And then we have Laxavir, the Bladed Blessing. He always counts as being supported by at least one person, which sometimes gets forgotten. It's hard to keep track of all their little rules, especially when you're having to remember, look for a complete failure, because it means one of them benefits. But they are quite fun, they have a lot of fun tactics cards where they offer gifts to the opponent uh, in return for a negative or for a small positive. So it's an interesting playstyle for sure, just a lot to keep track of. And speaking of a lot to keep track of, the Plague Ratties are here, Scavix Plague Bank being led by Scavic himself of course. Then we have Rabidus Stench at the back there, Skench, sorry not Stench, I presumed because he smells. And then we also have... Itchit, we have Ricket, we have Poxlix, and then their mascot, Scritter, who is worth no glory if he dies. They like corrupting areas. They corrupt an area if there's two or more friendlies in it, and that includes No Man's Land in the center of the map. Or if they have at least one with the Befowler keyword, which Skabic has, uh, Rabidus has, and Scritter has. Well, so does Itchit. Basically everyone except the two trash rats. They have that. So they're looking to corrupt. One of the newer-ish warbands, although I guess they've been around for a while now at this point. Fun mechanic as well, a bit easier to keep track of, and they all inspire as long as there's at least two corrupted areas, so it is very possible for them to all inspire by the end of round one. Anyway, we'll get both sides deployed and be ready at the top of the game after this brief word from my channel sponsor. This video is sponsored by Noble Knight Games. Check out the video description below for an affiliate link that will take you through to their store and it will help me out as well. Thanks. And here we are all set up and good to go with Vexmore right there, Vashtis up here, and then Laxfear at the back, although he is the fastest. His base movement speed is five hexes, which is really quick, which is definitely opposed to Vexmore, who is the slowest uh, on the entire table, in fact, with a base movement of three. Scritter, the mascot for the play pack, is just visible down here on the starting heads right at the bottom of the map. Then we have Itchit, we have Rabidus, we have Skabic himself, and then we have Ricket and Poxlix up there. Also worth noting, I think this has never happened before, but we have perfect symmetry with regards to where the objectives are. I think that's never happened. So it's very pleasing to look at it, it stands out quite nicely. But anyway, we have objectives two and four here for the Thriceful Discord. Objective one, I see this, yeah, I did see Discord. That is correct, it's not just a chat program. And then we have five and three up here as well for the play pack. It was the play pack who placed this in the middle, though it's worth noting. With that, we are ready to jump into round one, and it is the play pack who will be going first. So let's see how this all plays out. So everybody's favorite mascot, Scritter, got the game started. He can move up to five hexes. He's very quick. He has one health. If he dies, he's worth no glory, etc. But he is a befowler, so that's why it's important. And he activated, and he only moved four of his five hexes to there because Vexmore has range 2 on that big spear of his, so he didn't want to go there because then he could just attack him without needing to commit to the charge. So he stayed back there thinking, haha, safe, unless he wants to commit and it's worth no glory, so it's really a, is it worth it type situation. But, you might notice that there is a magic die there. In the power phase, the play pack played nothing, but the Thricefold Discord played Pavane of Slanesh. It is a spell, and we can read what it does right here. And there we go. If cast, choose an enemy fighter within three hexes of the caster of a chosen fighter. Fighters, a player picks one. You either get to deal one damage to them, or you choose to push them one hex. Well, obviously the one damage would kill him, so the movement has been selected, and that means whoop, Scritter is actually there, meaning that yes, he'll still have to commit an action, but it doesn't have to be a charge action now. If Vexmore wants to be the one to take out the little ratty. Well, Scritter was indeed the subject or target of an attack, but not by Vexmore, because Vexmore is very lazy. 
He likes getting everyone else to do his work because he's just like that. So his base attack is only one die unless he inspires. I think he starts trying harder on his other side. Yeah, he does. But on his normal side, he's only rolling one die, which it does three damage, so it's really powerful. But, you know, the one die, trust in that? Nope. So Laxvir activated with his super fast movement speed that we talked about earlier and did a charge action down here. He rolls three dice looking for swords. He got two crits, which obviously weren't guarded. Uh, blocked so Scritter gets eviscerated he does not give up glory he also doesn't count as being taken out of action he just gets removed from the table so nothing that would trigger on someone being removed from the table can score however useful distraction is scoring and I presume it counts square because the wording on this is a little vague uh, there is two criteria we're worried about the second a surviving friendly minion was the target of an attack action uh, it, it's a bit weird that it specifies that he's surviving friendly minion I guess that means you can't like retroactively score it if it's happened already it, it just seems a bit of a, like why is it worded that way but hey squitter's on the thing so presumably it counts even though he's just removed from the table he was the subject of an attack action it doesn't say it has to succeed fail or otherwise so that has scored and given the play pack their first glory well after scoring in the enemy turn scabby's play pack activated itch it who is the little one with the sensor bear and he also just did a movement action he doesn't have range 2 on his attacks he wants to kind of stay away from combat so he has moved into no man's land hopefully wanting to uh, corrupt it or befell it at the end of the action phase in the power phase though they are spending that glory they just got they are giving disgusting appearance to Skabik which is plus 1 defense just straight up 1 extra defense die putting his base defense at just 2 now but I think it improves if he gets to inspire Flash this activated for the thrice full discord doing a charge action going deep into enemy territory with the hopes of being able to kill Rickett. Uh, if she landed the hit it would have because he only has two health. But that is an absolute whiff and this is the warband where that isn't quite so bad. So because Vashtis embarrassed themselves by doing that, Vexmore inspires so he gets plus one defense die which is really nice and he gets two attack dice instead of one which kind of just brings it up to the basic it should be but remember he does three base damage which is above average for a single swing so it's not all bad but obviously could have been better yet more scurrying about for the rats followed as rabidus skinch activated and did a movement action from where he was moving his four hexes into enemy territory obviously going for that befoul as well to corrupt the area at the end of the action phase they're not even worried about combat at this point well, that's the thricefold discard on the scoreboard finally as Vexmore activated, had to activate because the other two had charge tokens. And he did a charge himself as much as he can, moving three hexes. He moved adjacent to Itchit and took a swing at him, now rolling two dice because he's inspired. Three damage and he got that crit which was not blocked, so he absolutely splatted this rat and Itchit is gone. No card scored, but gets the one glory for the kill, and more importantly, frees up No Man's Land from having currently a chance of being corrupted. Well, it turns out the rats do know how to fight. Their last activation for round one was Skabik himself. He did a charge action, going up and attempting to take out Vashtis. He rolls two dice looking for hammers. He was supported by Rickett here, being adjacent to him, and rolled two successes, just as is naturally. And unfortunately, Vashtis absolutely whiffed her defense roll rolling a support and a double support. And yes, that would mean Vexmore inspires. He's already inspired. And unfortunately, lacks fear. He, well, who does he want to do badly? He wants to see Vexmore do badly to inspire. So unfortunately, that doesn't do anything else. That is two damage through of Vashtis's four health. So that is half of them. Uh, half of the health, rather. And puts her in a pretty dangerous position. So now it's over to the Threshold Discord's last action for round one. And we're sticking up here because there is only so much they can do when they all have charge tokens. So Vash disactivated and attempted to kill Rickett and managed to succeed, rolling two successes. And it wouldn't have made any difference if uh, Vash just had been driven back, got range two on that weapon, the Paramount Staff. So it wouldn't have made any difference, still would have been able to reach Rickett. Two successes, no success on his defense dice, he was looking for dodges, so that does splat him and cost them an objective card scoring in the end phase, as well as one glory right now. Speaking of the end phase, let's go into that and we'll also cover the corruption as well. Well, thanks to those last minute actions by both sides, uh, both sides can no longer score anything in the end phase, they, they were both primed to do so, but nope, thanks to... Itchit dying, that cost them, 
and thanks to the whiff from Vashtis first before that kill that cost them as well and also Scritter not counting as being taken out of action the wording there is very important it does specify he is not out of action he doesn't take the wound you remove all tokens from his card that's very important so all we have to cover here is the corruption mechanic so as long as there is one befeller in a territory it is corrupted and if there's two or more friendlies it is corrupted Scabic is a befeller and he's got a friend there still so their home territory is corrupted for this next round and Rabidus is a befeller so enemy territory is also corrupted that means there's two corrupted areas so they all inspire no man's land is the only area that isn't corrupted as we go into round two so here we are at the start of round two and it is the thrice fold discord who will be taking their first activation uh, i'm using these markers up here to denote which areas have been corrupted just so we keep that in mind also because he's on his inspired side now at the start of a round scabic staggers enemy fighters who are adjacent to him so Vashtis is staggered as we begin the round as well. So nothing much else to cover. Didn't forget to mention the scores uh, at the tail end of round one. It's 2-1 in the Thricefold Discord's favour. And obviously we did manage to take out three ratties, although one of them doesn't count. But So the playback almost lost half their number in one round. So first up for the Thricefold Discord in round two was Vexmoor moving his mighty three hexes. But luckily he has range two on that indolent glaive of his. So two dice looking for hammers, he got a hammer and a crit and it was against Rabidus who also got a crit however unfortunately for him that successful hammer trumps the two countered out crits for three damage which is all the health he has so that is Rabidus out of there for their third glory however in the act of him dying vile blood is being played it's got, it's got so much text, but essentially when a rat dies to range 1 or range 2 attack action, you, your blood inflicts the target with minus 1 damage to a minimum of 1 until such time as they die or they make a successful attack. So that will just be put to one side because for Vexmore's attacks for the remainder of the game, unless he dies before that of course, he's minus 1 until one of them lands. Well, Scabby's Plague Pack has been reduced down to the man himself and Poxlix, so I'm not sure if we can call it a Plague Pack anymore. But Scabic activated and wanted to finish where he started, attempting to finish off Vashtis. He rolls three dice on his inspired side, looking for swords with Grievous 1 on crit, so he did get that. And he had two successes, all said and done. She completely whiffed, so Vexmore would have inspired again and staggered, but either way, that is the Celestian Demon out of there. For one glory, but also a second glory because of Befouled scores. There we go. Score us immediately after an enemy fighter is taken out of action by damage dealt by a friendly Befouler, which Scabic is. So just like that, he has evened, well, evened in terms of score, maybe not representation on the table. Although I guess in a literal sense he has, because now there's two per side. But the two survivors for the Thricefold Discord are a lot stronger. Well, it had to be Laxfear that activated, did a charge action going after Scabic himself and rolling three dice looking for swords and managing to whiff entirely. So we went from one extreme to the other there because he was rolling the exact same as Scabic for the exact same damage, but nope, didn't get it. And unfortunately, because Vashtis is dead, it doesn't make any difference. But because that was a complete fail, had she still been alive at that point, would have inspired, but oh well. Well, swings and roundabouts as they say, as Scabic did a charge action actually moving further back because he has range two on that warp staff of his. Taking a swing at Laxfear, just to try and bop him over the head, and rolled three dice and rolled completely nothing. So, completely unharmed. Now, unfortunately for the Thricefold Discord, their two surviving members have already charged, so now they can only attack or char or, or move, rather. They can't do both. So, their options are a little bit limited for what they can do effectively. Well, even though it might give him the chance to get smacked upside the head, Vexmore activated, did a movement action. His three hex movement was enough to get adjacent to Scabic. Uh, Scabic can't activate though, it has to be Poxlix next because he has a charge token. So, well, he can still definitely come into attack. He's rolling four dice on his inspired side. It's only for one damage with Grievous 1, but he is rolling four dice. Well, little Poxlix did a charge action opted not to go for Vexmore and instead came round to go after uh, Laxfear because he only has three health. Four dice as I said, one damage, but with Grievous if he gets that crit, which he did, it was not saved, so one damage becomes two and all of a sudden poor Laxfear here has one health remaining. 
and then no cards played in the power phase for either side. So we're over to the Thrice Fold Discord's last action of the second round. And so it was actually Vexmore who activated. He's got range 2 on that staff as we discussed earlier, or sorry, Glaive. And he went after Poxlex, even though with that debuff he wouldn't be able to one-shot him. Just hoping to get a successful attack through to get rid of the Vile Blood afflicting him. But, despite getting one success, he crit trumps that, and as a result, this little rally that could manages to live. And I don't know which of them has the better chance. Well, actually, they only need to do one damage to kill Laxfear, so yeah, I guess Itchit... I was sorry, I keep on calling him Itchit. Poxlix, he's rolling four dice, so he's got the higher percentage chance of being able to finish Laxfear off. Well, I guess Slaanesh was smiling upon him because four dice, only one success amongst them. And I did forget to mention in the last power phase, Feverish Flailing had been played, which gave a reroll, but the reroll was a hammer into a hammer, so it made no difference. For the record though, had his one success been a crit, there was another option he could have played, despite there being a crit on defense, which in this situation means he, that's why he lived, which would have given him plus one more success, and that would have put it in his favor and killed him. Such as it is, Laxbear lived though, and that takes us to the end phase for round two. So at the end of that round, Scavic's play pack, what little of them left there is, would have scored big had Laxfear gone down. Well, not just for the kill itself, obviously, but a couple of cards scored. Such as it is, they scored nothing. For the Thricefold Discord, they're scoring a single glory for Triumph of Carnality, which is simply scoreless in the end phase if four or more fires each have a wound or are out of action. There is a total of four dead that count for the purposes because Square doesn't and also Laxfer has wounds on him. So, yep, that scores for one. They were denied more scoring, though they're still holding on in the hopes of a big final uh, turn score. We'll see if that actually happens, though. As we go into the third and final round, the Thricefold Discord are leading by a single point, four to three. So at the top of the third and final round, now that we're back in focus, only the home territory for Scavit's play pack is corrupted because well, there's two friendlies or a profiler, whichever way you want to pick it, that both the equals corrupted. And it is the Thricefold Discord once again taking first action. Which could be pivotal because Laxfear probably isn't long for this world, so he gets a chance to do something. Well, it was a bit of a Hail Mary play for Laxfear and it paid off. He did a charge action to move exactly one hex. For positioning purposes, he put an attack into Poxlix. Three dice, looking for swords. He got two crits, which obviously weren't blocked. That's two of his three health, because I, I think he gets... No, he, yeah, he does get plus one health on his inspired side. He normally does only have two. He would have lived, but he's going to get driven back into this lethal hex, which devours him, I would guess. There's something living in that space. We don't ask questions about what. And that deals the last point of damage and actually takes him out. Doesn't score anything. Uh, Laxfear wasn't really going to get away from Skabic if he wanted to go for that kill because he's got range 2 so he went for that to try and secure the kill on Poxix and he did, leaving Skabic as the last rat standing for his plate pack. Well Skabic stood his ground and he swung into Laxfear trying to get that kill, only got one success on his three rolls and a crit means that no damage got through. However, as a bit of a contingency in the power phase, Glorious Sacrifice was placed onto Skabic for the cost of one glory. And there's a lot of text again, but when this fighter is taken out of action, if the territory they're in is not corrupted, it becomes corrupted, otherwise you gain one glory. So it's trying to make his death mean something, because he is in a corrupted area. He does also have plus one defense mind, so he is rolling two defense dice, but he is last right standing and he failed to take out Laxfear, which might end up costing him. Well, we're sticking up here because, of course, this is where all the action is going to happen. So, Vexmore activated and just took a swing at Skabic, rolling two dice. Would have been two fails, but he is currently supported, thanks to Laxfear not being dead. So, both were successes. However, Skabic came out swing and rolling two crits for defense, utterly getting rid of any and all damage. Now, you'll notice that there is a magic die there, though. That's because in the power phase, Acquiescence was cast by Vexmore. You, oh, actually, no, you need a lightning, sorry. So he attempted to cast and did not get it, but had it worked, it would have staggered him. So actually, I thought it was needing a swirl. It's not, so he failed. But also, one glory is being spent to give Gormond of Bane to Vexmore, which is an upgrade. That means he gets a spell reaction. Use this after attack action if this fighter was the target. If cast, deal one damage to the fighter if you're within one hex. So it's just a way for him to deal damage back if someone decides to actually attack him. Although right now, I'm sure Skabic is just going to keep on trying to kill... Laxfear. 
Oh, and on the second swing, he managed to do it, only barely getting one success there of the three dice, the swords, and Lightspear was looking for blocks. Had Vashis still been on the table, she would have inspired. But such as it is, he loses his last health. It does two damage, but he had one health left. For their fourth glory point for the play pack, meaning they're still trailing by one, but it's down to leader versus leader now. And they're just futilely slapping at each other. Vexmore tried to swing into Skabic, got one success now thanks to not having any support anymore. But two successes on Skabic's defense dice roll. Neither side playing power. The power card draws this game have been bad for both sides to be honest. But either way, uh, the dice rolls have not been super great either. Skabic did decide to go a little bit of a wander down to objective one in No Man's Land. Still within range two to attack Vexmore. Managed to get one success, which got through, thanks to Vexmore whiffing that defense roll, even though he's rolling two. And because he's out of range one hex, the Gormont of Pain, it's, there's no need to do it. it. You can actually use it on friendlies, you can use it on anybody as long as they're within one hex of him, but there's no one, obviously. So that's two of his five health gone. And the final activation of the game for the Thricefold Discord, Vexmore just took one last swing into Skabic, getting one success, which was blocked. He's looking for shields. So. No damage done there, and that's their game done. So it's just over to Skabic now, who I presume is just going to take one last swing as well, even though... Well, actually, does he have Grievous? He does have Grievous, so if he was to get a critical hit through... Let's do that live, actually. Because if he gets a crit through against Vexmore, he'll kill him, and that will probably swing things in his favour. So that is just two successes, so even if it gets through, it doesn't matter. It won't kill him, so it doesn't matter, but he blocked what yeah so it would have got through for two more damage but he wouldn't have died so that is actually going to take us to the end phase but had it been a crit that would have swung things for sure well this has very much been a game of oh if only this had happened it would have swung things in drastically different directions and that is true here at the end of that action phase no man's land corrupts that is relevant for infected corpse pile scoring for two for the plague pack Score this in the end phase if two or more territories are corrupted and two or more enemy fighters are out of action. Simple as that. Had Vexmore died, it would have equaled two more for the kill and three more for a card scoring. Just for him sitting on that objective because of Ruinous Supremacy, you have to hold more objectives than there are surviving friendly fighters. That would have given them the win. Such as it is though, they're ending on six and that is not good enough thanks to some lucky draw between rounds two and three. Oh yeah, sorry, after at the end of that round there, Fueled by Pain should have scored. It has been taken into account that it's a surge, not an end phase. Score us immediately after our opponent's activation step if each surviving friendly fighter has one or more wound counters. So they had one glory for that. And then in this actual end phase, they are scoring three for Triumph of Paramount C. Paramount? Paramount C, yes. Not a word you use often. So, Scorbus in the end phase if a leader is the only surviving fighter in one or more warbands. Both leaders are the only survivors. So, thanks to that, scoring for three, they're ending on nine. So, six playing nine in the Thricefold Discord's favour, although kind of low scoring on both parts. And that is going to do it for another showing for Warhammer Underworld on the channel. I sincerely hope you enjoyed. Please do remember to show your support with a like or a subscribe or a comment. And if you are able to spare it, please do consider becoming a channel member or pressing the thanks button. If you do become a channel member, which I do keep as at the lowest possible amount, you do get access to certain videos early. Or you can check out the channel sponsor via my affiliate link. If you do buy something for yourself, including Games Workshop products, I will be compensated. Which means we both get something out of it, which is great. Anyway, enjoy the rest of your day and see you next time. Stop for now.